Okay, welcome back. Thank you for sticking it out through the day with us. So just to review our purpose and our outcomes for the day, kind of reflect back on what you've gained from the day. For our outcomes, we hope that you will be able to go back to your district and communicate the purpose of Literacy Coaches Network, uh, gain knowledge and skill relating to impacting instruction for all learners. Again, that's our focus this year is how do we make sure we're teaching and reaching all students. And then be able to communicate actionable items back to your district. So we will talk quickly about some upcoming professional learning opportunities and we have a link there in the um, slide for you to follow up on as well if um, you want to go back and look at that. We'll do our survey for the afternoon. We'll talk about our pilot lab practice and reflecting on that and then we'll dive into doing some work there and we'll do our giveaway at the end. So, um, here is the link for the professional learning opportunities that we keep going through the year. And we will, that will stay in the PowerPoint in the um, elementary coaching and opening and closing session for you to refer back to. Uh, our next LCN, our last LCN date for this year, because we have four days this year, will be in February, it's on Thursday, February 7th. Um, if by chance there is an inclement weather day, we do have a makeup date kind of reserved later in the year, and you would get notification via the um, PD Hub if, if there was a cancellation. We've only had to use that once in a minute, right? So cognitive coaching, there's some things starting. This one started last week, uh, cognitive coaching part two foundation. Um, adaptive schools is coming up in January. And then facilitator training for classroom learning labs, K-12, is also starting um, when is the beginning of February. Jill Jackson, one of our featured authors, will be at um, the Watermark Country Club at the end of February. That is open to people outside of LCN as well. There is a small registration fee for that. And so if that's somebody, you know somebody else in your district or uh, surrounding district that would be interested, you're welcome to invite them to that. Then group coaching using cognitive coaching is coming in May. Um, one thing I think is further down on the list, maybe not right there, is the save the date little postcards out there. There's extras, so if you know somebody in your district, you're an elementary person, but your district doesn't send secondary people and they want to come see Penny Kittle and Kelly Gallagher, or you're an elementary person, you want to come anyways. Um, there are three days at Thousand Oaks Golf Course. Um, they are coming in June, and they're going to do writing workshop, reading and writing workshop, just like they do with their students, with adults. And they did this a couple years ago, and who attended said it's very, very powerful. So if you're interested, there's registration information there. Um, the Essential Instructional Practice Resources link is there. That's not really like that I attend PD, but there's lots and lots and lots of information there. And statewide essentials, modules, uh, the KEO, third grade reading law, anything you can possibly think of, I think we've started to curate resources there related to that. MRA is coming up in March. It's that March 9th through 11th weekend. It's here in Grand Rapids this year. Um, the planning 180 days is what I was just talking about. And then the aunt, my ELA institutes are back in Grand Rapids again this year instead of in dancing. So we host them right here on the Kent ISD campus um, at the high, Innovation High School. So that information is there. There's lots of other information about equity and diversity science, other things on this please take a look and refer back to it. Pass that link on to a tablet. I'm calling it anywhere, so I don't know what this means. I'm capturing any of the references. So now is the time of the day where you are going to have some work to go through the survey to kind of talk through your problem of practice. And so again, we're just going to remind you that if you start with the survey first, we intentionally plan the survey to help kind of walk through your steps of thinking, to think about how you can give us some feedback on the environment, on your learning today, on the sessions, and then help that thinking dive more into your problem of practice and 
what your learning was for the day. Please know that we spend an entire day sitting through and going through everybody's surveys and reading your responses and looking at our sessions and trying to make tweaks and changes. So your feedback is really important to us. Um, so please, work, please and thank you um, for all of you that do do the survey. We appreciate that and we, we use that feedback. After we're done with the survey, then we're going to have you go again through the problem of practice. This is just serving here as a reminder. Christy has talked about this with you a lot, but really their goal behind this is that we want to think about something that um, we have as a focus area. So when we go into the different sessions, we can kind of focus in, pull out some ideas that we want to bring back to our team, bring back to our districts, and start to use as a part of our problem of practice. And just keep in mind that it's okay to redefine it. It's okay to change it. It's okay if you've tested things to tweak and to move it around. We're not monitoring them to the point to where we're saying, oh, this person totally changed where the problem of practice was going. We're looking at them so then that way we can kind of see the next steps that we can help you with or what are some things we can put to our session that can support your problems of practice. Uh, so we invite you to continue to work on that. And just to remind you, this is what it looks like inside of your Google Doc. So in case you're looking for the form again, this is what it looks like. And you can choose to add to it. You can change the color and add to it. You can erase things and add to it. You can add boxes. This is for you and your team to use as you need to to help have discussion and prompt thinking around your process. So we ask you to please head to the survey link. And if you don't have the survey link, we put it below. And we're going to ask you to take a few minutes to fill out the survey. And when you're done with that, please feel free to start working on your problem of practice with your